Kathmandu is not only the city of Nepal. Here, not only the pain, the suffering and the sorrow, but also full of happiness and love and the dreams of the future are living. It is also a dream city, the city of many, which is associated with the dreams, life, diaries and future of millions of local and foreigners, providing employment, shelter and livelihood for millions. Namaskar, India TV, UK. Man's life struggle is a beautiful story full of struggle. After being born as a human being, desire and needs also come together at birth. Sadness, happiness, laughter, instantaneous things are natural things in life. To be able to live life by taking care of all this together is to live life in the true sense. Thousands of people commit suicide every day in the world due to illiteracy, poverty and deprivation. My name is Abhay Ram. I came to Nepal from a small town called Motihari in the Indian state of Bihar v. Gorakhpur, India 14 years ago today in search of employment. For the first few years, I worked on the streets in Bhaktapur at Mandu for repairing shoes. Without any hesitation, Abhay Ram told everything honestly. I respect his words. I have not received any formal education. I do not know how to read and write. I am imprinted. Why hesitate to speak the truth? Same hesitation should be considered when we do bad deeds. I come from the Dalit lower caste. The practice of this caste still exists in India and Nepal. Caste is categorized by the society people. I don't know how much and why. I am social creature human. My caste is humanity. Even if we cut my finger, red blood comes. It hurts, so does I. I do shoe repair and polishing work in Nepal. Except for my family, other neighbors do not know. If I say this to the neighborhood, they will look down on me. I have to be compatible in front of them. So I have said that I run a vegetable shop in a wheelbarrow in Nepal. The vegetable shop is good income generating business in India and Nepal. I have a son and a daughter. The first daughter is the eldest child. She is married. I managed to get my daughter cursed by repairing shoes. In India, marrying a daughter costs a lot. The boys ask for a lot of dowry. Therefore, no dowry was demanded from the boys' side. After the marriage of my daughter, she teaches at a school near Hong Kong. Now it's my son's turn, but my son is still studying and doing railway engineering. There is a lot to do in life. I am 45 years old. I have not been able to add land, but I still have hope. I will add my own land and build a house for my work. My son is wise. I am sure he will understand my pain and help me. Like every parent, I have the same hope, trust and desire, although I have done my best so far. The rest is of my son's discretion and God's will. Times you should not expect too much from your children. They also have their own desires. 
The duty of a parent is to show a way to fulfill their dreams by guiding them in every steps and protecting from the dangerous situations. I know after my retirement, my son will not do shoe repairing work like me and I don't want him to do as well. That's why my son is studying real engineering with so much pain. Otherwise, my dream will be shattered. Even after studying so much, if he had to make a living by repairing the shoes, all my hard work and sacrifice would be wasted. I feel like Nepal is my own country. People are really supportive and friendly. Sometimes drunken people say bad things as other people as my customers are really kind toward me. Coronavirus epidemic lasted four months and still going on. No work, no income, but I am really grateful that my landlord didn't ask for the money. I earn about 15,000 monthly Nepal. I live in a room and pay 2,500, where I separate water and electricity bill, which is about 3,000. I save up to 10 to 12,000 Nepal monthly and send it home every month. Rest, I buy some food. In the same village, my wife also saves little bit by doing wages. I have to save money and buy land soon and build my own small hut. Otherwise, I will be a liar if I stay in Nepal for so many years and run a vegetable shop. My own caste society will despise me. When I asked him about how long he would stay in Nepal, he said, No one told me to go. As long as my hands and feet work, I will stay in Nepal. Nowadays, I feel a little bit weak in my eyes. I will go to the hospital and get checked after the ban is lifted. Maybe it is caused by sitting on the side of the road and pollutions and also maybe my age. After pleasing conversation, I wanted to give him a few hundred rupees but he refused to take it. After convincing so much and by other customers words, he finally accepted. He is just a representative character, leaving his land and traveling the hundred miles to another land the family has to go abroad to make their life happy and simple. The traditional culture and language are similar between India and Nepal, otherwise it would be very difficult to integrate into different languages, traditions, cultures and norms. I again asked him a question about what do you think of Nepal? He said, I like Nepal more than India. People are really friendly and kind. I am raising my family in India by earning in Nepal. Nepal is my karma bhumi. I cannot think badly about Nepal. I want to stay here but the law does not allow it. I have to return to India. I can only live for living. We find many people like him in Nepal. With due respect, we hope they all are blessed and stay happy. Mandala TV, UK.